Check out my previous video. I shot him. I shot him behind, right behind the head. He was trying to escape, and my second shot went through right there. It went ahead, mobilized it. Killed a joke. What we're having to do here is uh, watch out for other snakes. The copperhead, the cottonmouth, the rattlesnake, and the eastern diamondback rattlesnake is what's bad around here. And it, it's 51 today, and I saw that snake. It's just laying out there trying to get a little bit of that sun that did peek out for a little bit. You see how these, this here is? They blend right in that, that on copperhead. Pull up a picture of a copperhead. You'll see what they blend, they blend right in with this stuff here. All these oak leaves and maple oak. All types of leaves here. <clears throat> This here plant right here, which is not a plant, it's best plant, yes it is. But uh, I was thinking of edible plants, is what I'm saying that. But this here is this is old hedge bush, hedge row bush, is all this is. And it's got these little berries on there. And when I was a small child, I used to stick these in my pellet gun. He shoot something in his splatter. Yeah, that was something else. I was something else. And this one here, and that tree right there is uh you see the way the bark is on it? That bark. This is a really old sassafras tree. You know, those of y'all know about the sassafras, you make tea and stuff out of it. And here's one right here. Grown up through this. This is a 47 Plymouth. Back in here on my property. Can't hardly really see it too good, can you? Move some of this mess out your way. Oh, you ever heard that saying? Uh, one day I'm gonna I'm, I'm fix that one day. You know that saying? I don't know. Yeah, that's a giant, uh, that's a really huge. That's a fresh tree right there, growing up right through there. Growing up to there. Another thing, when you're out in the woods and you smell a smell, this awful smelling, always take notice of that too, because it could be a snake for one, like that one earlier was putting off an odor. After I killed it, though, and that's the defense mechanism they have. I'm fixing to go up in yonder. I got a trail that's going up through yonder. I'm going to check out the swamp up in there, all the woods. I don't know if you can tell on here. There's something, something pretty big walked right through here. The, the, the leaves are disturbed. That's today they're doing this here. Might have been when I was walking down from the house. Or when I shot that snake. Either one of them. So here's this here. The Dodge. The Dodge Plymouth. 47. My brother has a 1930 coupe. The year our father was born, he has a 1930, and he has a 47. He has the truck. This is the car here. Well, the back end clipping, you see. This is the back part. Now look at this. Don't you just notice something about the interior on the leather interior? <laughs> what leather interior? No, I got it. Uh, and this car here, it's uh, straight for show, you know. 
and it's I went real tree pattern with it, mossy oak pattern with all the inside interior. As you can tell, you can bloody tell, mates. Yeah, it's, look, it's growing into the tree over there. It's starting to grow into the tree. I'm gonna have to take out that tree right there. I'm gonna have to watch the day too about them cotton mouths or any other type of poisonous snake. You don't want to even get by a black racer. And that's just picking them up. People, you know, people love to handle snakes. You gotta watch them get sick, really sick off of them. Some people handle it different than others. Like I was saying on another video, my brother in law got very sick after he, well, he handled, he was, he was all about nature and he loves to hold snakes. So he was going to catch and release a black snake and he went to release it. And that's when it beat him. And uh, he didn't die or nothing because a black snake, a racer, black racer, is non poisonous, non venomous. But to the bite from him is not pleasant, you know. So he uh, he got really sick on the stomach and all got pretty sick. He had to go to the hospital. But yeah, everyone takes it different. That didn't even matter. You need your technic shots to keep up, which I, to honest truth, my, I don't, I don't know when I've had a technic shot. My, I had one way back years ago, but uh, I stepped on a nail. This was, this might have been 20 years ago, 18 years ago. So you just don't want to, you know, get cut on something like this right here. Because it's rusty. I'm playing with you. Oh, that edge is not as sharp as it looks. I wouldn't be really doing that. I'm not like stupid or something. But yeah, um, we're going to go up in this way. But we're going to watch out for snakes or any other kind of critters over here. I did have a honeybee's nest one year. And a tree over that way. And the tree was kind of rotten and, and everything else. But there was a honeybee's nest up in it. And um, I had went down several weeks later. Checking on it. Well, I was going to go up in there to a place where I used to hang out. And climb the trees when I was way younger and all. And uh, yeah, I used to climb trees. I was bad about it. I used to hang out in the trees here in this forest. And overlook these swamps looking at the cranes and uh, water birds coons owls you, you just about name it you even heard about some gators but i haven't really seen any lately over there because the temperatures here is not like florida florida's way more warmer i'm in north carolina I said liner, North Carolina. I'm country like that. I say potato, not potato. Potato, tomato. Potato, tomato. Carolina, North Carolina. Yeah, look at these trees. Yeah, that's nice. Look, I'm going to go up in here. We're going to see what we're going to see. I'm going to watch out. I got old dirty hurry on the side. Though, so that's a good thing. Mm, there's a clay pot over there. Clay pot. I'm going to keep that. hope it ain't busted. I don't know how it got down here. Yeah, that pot's some good. Now, it will, it's got that hole there, but still, I can use it for something. Y'all yeah, know the trick where you place it up like that there, and you put on um, like a teacup candles inside in these clay pots, and it'll warm a small room up if you had to in survival. Well, you can't even might as well say that's survival. You're trying to stay warm, not freeze to death. 
about our cut incidents where people, you know, lost the power without wasting time. And they didn't think that, you know. They were burning, burning their furniture and everything else. I heard. Because they you know, in Texas, they're not prepared for stuff like that. Remember that hit Texas pretty hard. I know of some people down there that actually, they were burning furniture and everything else. I don't care how much it was worth in order to keep their family warm, you know. The grid's down there and they're all, they're, whatever you want to call it again, it's, it's not prepared, it's not equipped for all kind of weather. You can tell they're having a parade up town or something, somewhere. I live out of the city limits, out in the country here, but yeah, as you can tell by that noise, they are, uh, they were swinging around on the back side of the town. I was with the, uh, been with the fire and rescue and search and rescue 20 some years. And I know the siren systems on these, these apparatus and everything. I know our fire department and our rescue squad and all that there had, uh, they had siren systems on it, on top of siren systems. They had one, like you just heard, and then you just switch over, and you can hit the, the well yip, piercer, all other type of tones on another type of siren system. They had two of them, and the third one was other. I don't know. There's something else about this stuff, but you can't tell people everything. If they want to clear people out of the road, they'll try their best, won't they? Yeah. Got stuck in there. We're gonna go up in here and see what we see. I wouldn't doubt what I had uh, them tracks I saw back there. And that was a deer probably. Because uh by them I don't know if you can hear them deer, them, them dogs. But they're running dogs on the other side of my, about a mile, about a mile away. Might, might be running them deer this way. Here's an old burrow here. I need to take this burrow out. I can use it for a burn burrow. It's rusted up pretty bad. He's a little burn burn. Look how huge that is, that tree right there. Now that tree right there, I've seen some coons in it. See where they, where the bottom is? They would go in there and go up inside. Huh. I wonder how many cords of wood out of that is. About a cord of wood? I don't know. It's hard to tell, it's so huge though. It's a lot of wood right there. But I don't cut my, my large trees like that right here. I don't cut them. I like to cut something that's already fallen and seasoned, but everything around here, even where I go off-roading a lot of the stuff, it's been there for several years laying. Got a spider on my face, a small spider. Um, and, uh, once it's that rotten, there ain't no need to even try and cut it or bust it. So, what's I've been having to do? I've been cutting some dry wood along with some dry, along with the other two. Uh, most of the dry wood is to burn the other. I'm walking along and talking at the same time, I'm thinking. Listen, we have a treaty field right there. Let's try to go around here. Let me pause y'all right quick. 
They're right there. Oh, oh, Dodge, Plymouth, Hubcap, up in this woods. There's a place that we used to go. It's about a mile away. And dig like old treasure, we, as we called it. My brother, he always wanted to be a archaeologist or something. He had dig dinosaur bones or whatever they called it again. But, uh. We would go over there and dig up. We found 19, he, well, he found a 1930, well, 1948 coop. It was 1948 tag, and he restored it best he could. Some of the tags that we found was too rusty. You know, look at this. Here's the stream. I'm up in here now. So let's walk up in here a little bit further. See where a big tree fell out there, but that's been there several years since well, since 2018 or before. There's one newer, I think. It fell, and there's one way over in there. See where the water the water takes and turns right there and comes through, comes around, and goes that way. This is the back of my property back up in here. There was a huge pine. It fell, I think. That rooted and fell. Look how big this one is. That's a huge tree. There's two of them growing out on one right there. You can see it. There's some dogs. Sounds kind of nice in a way. It's not. It's not cool out when you're out hunting. But I'm not hunting here today or nothing. But uh, reminds me back in the movies like the Red Fern Groves. If I don't know who all saw that movie, but go and watch that movie. It's really cool. It dates way back. You know what the. 1918, I don't know, it's way on back there. And it's about a boy and he gets his coon dog, you know. And the Ozarks, Ozark Mountains, where he growed up. And when I watch it, I, re I think of my father because that's the way he dresses and the way he acts and everything. It's the same way my father is, or was, I meant to say. So yeah, I love that movie. And I love to hear coon dogs. Coon dogs barking. They're really nice. It was a one of the type of bird was that. I know I didn't catch it because that was a pretty big bird. Okay. Let's go over here. Let's see why. A coon or something been right here used the bathroom. Right here. I saw a uh, Crawfish and stuff in this here. Saw some crawfish up in here one time. Thought about catching me some and cooking. Look at that water. It's pretty cool. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's trickling away. There's a freaking. See what a beaver's is. Top of this tree here, the beaver had cut that off, the beaver's head. That's neat right there, that's nice. I'm have to get that, uh, that burn burrow and make a uh, Make me some fires up in here sometime in that burn burrow. Probably tell some stories. I don't know. I got so many stories. Just ain't haven't put them on here. Might as well start doing it, shouldn't I? That's what uh, YouTube's all about. Sharing some of our, a lot of our life. 
you know, I grew up down here. Turn it around. I grew up down here in these swamps and these woods, back here in the backwoods. I grew up, I had, it was a tree that like, it uh, went out over the swamp or out over the water. And I would take and uh, go up that tree, go out on it. And there was a part where I would just lay back, kick up my feet and just relax. I would look over the swamp. Like I said earlier, there's some birds right there, a little woodpecker. I look over the swamp and just admire the cranes and water birds and owls. And, you know, there's some look like prehistoric. They're so big, some of them birds, they like to hunt them. When they like uh, flying, they're like and slow as I know what, or they're so huge. The big giant cranes and all. But yeah. I think there's a bay tree over there. There's another name for it. That's a bay tree. But if y'all would like, if you watch to the end this part, if you'd like to see more uh, up in the woods here, which that's what I'm going to be filming and stuff like that too. Um, because I'm the backwoods critter, pa. I'm the backwoods critter. You know, if you'd like to see more videos like that and me telling some stories and all, too, as well, because I got so many I got to tell them. It's good to put it out there anyhow. Children can look back on some of these videos. There's some I wouldn't want them to look at pretty well. I didn't bleep out some of my language. Probably need to start doing that on some of the videos, don't I? Yeah. I can, see was, I can tell something's been going through yonder too. And right here, mates. Right here. You don't see it now. Right here, mites, you have a bloody, a bloody bird in this natural habitat. <laughs> this is a bird in its natural habitat. There was one over there, well, there's millions of birds over that way. But uh, there was a bird over there, there he goes, that's a robin. It's like a robin right here. I don't know if you see him. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this. I'm trying not to make so long of videos. I kind of get caught up in these videos sometimes. But I'm going to probably fix my burn burl sometime or another. And I'll come up in here and tell some stories. Have some fires going in this. And my liquor steals. And no, I don't have a liquor steal. But uh, oh, there's some stories about that too. Because over the woods over there. Back in the olden days, there's still the old holes where they'd gull it out where they collect rainwater and stuff. They used to have liquor stills back in the old days, way over there. And stuff, I was way before I was born. Oh, yeah. That's over my head right here. I'm all in the bushes. Right, is that normal? <laughs> is that normal for a human? It's normal for me. That's me why if you want to see some backwood stuff, I'll, I go all kinds of places. But this is in my woods behind my house. So I can, uh, well, I'll probably be back here quite a bit and tell some stories. And, and I don't never know what we might see back here. I don't think I told this, finished the story. Yeah, I didn't finish the story. That was a squirrel moment right there. Um, that way off track over here was a uh, tree with honey in it and I went down there to visit the tree that I would climb like I said I like on um, 
whatever that movie was, the Jungle Book or Jungle Boy or whatever that person was. I forgot the name of the movie now. But anyhow, I would climb the trees and all that over there, and I'd look at the swamp and I'd watch the birds, and it was just so relaxing and everything. And uh, I went by my honey, the tree that I had, you know, there was wild bees, there was, there was bees in it, honey and everything. But it was destroyed when I went through it one evening, went through there. It was destroyed, so a blackberry come along and just tore it apart and everything. But yeah, I think I'm going to end it right here. I don't see no crawfish. But yeah. I'm going to end it right here. And I'll be getting back with y'all some more videos later. Y'all stay good. Stay humble. Stay blessed. Love one another. And love yourself. Most of all. And we'll get back with you. This is Backwoods Critter. Outdoors Adventures and Survival. Over and out. See y'all next time. See ya.